Herschel Walker is facing an accusation that he pressured a woman to have an abortion and paid for it. Uh, don't check the date on this video, this is live. This is another woman who is saying that now. Uh, she's being identified only as Jane Doe right now, being represented by obviously famed attorney Gloria Allred. And we have a number of different bits of audio of the woman talking about the experience that she had with Herschel Walker back in 1993. Here's the first bit. Herschel Walker says he is against women having abortions, but he pressured me to have one. She's doing a pretty good job of holding herself together as she begins to tell her story. Um, but the actual experience, based on what she has to tell us, was pretty rough. Here's her describing it. I went to a clinic in Dallas, but I simply couldn't go through with it. I left the clinic in tears. When I told Herschel what had happened, he was upset and said that he was going to go back with me to the clinic the next day for me to have the abortion. He then drove me to the clinic the following day and waited for hours in the parking lot until I came out. He then drove me to get medications and supplies as prescribed and then drove me home. I was devastated because I felt that I had been pressured into having an abortion. After the abortion, I felt that Herschel began distancing himself from me. I fled Dallas within days after the abortion and did not go back to even visit for the next 15 years because I was so traumatized by what Herschel had put me through. Now, of course, at this point, these are allegations. It's impossible for us to say exactly what happened in their relationship. But she is saying the reason she is now coming out with her story is because she saw Walker denying the first set of allegations related to an abortion. And she says, particularly, I saw him state that the woman's claims were not true because he never signed any cards using the letter H. I knew that was not true because he had often signed letters to me using H. And so she apparently knew that the woman's story was likely true in that case, but says she wants to stay anonymous, fearing reprisals. We'll talk a little bit about the anonymity, but um, look, there was sort of a concern floating around that considering everything else about this campaign, it seemed unlikely that the first woman would be the only woman. We can't say for sure that this woman, again, just allegations, will be the only other woman, but it is now two. I'm at a decision point right now where I have to decide whether I'm going to take this with the seriousness it deserves or if I'm going to joke about it because it's so absurd. Mm -hmm. The idea that anyone in America has not caught on to the fact that Republican politicians say that they're advocating for stuff that their constituents want while living up to that example, that is a ridiculous thing to think. Herschel Walker is such a walking parody mm -hmm. of Republican hypocrisy where they at this point, you thought Roy Moore was the mass, massive extent that they would go to. But they have Herschel Walker now who can't even hold down a day job like Roy Moore. He goes out and he doesn't put it, he can't, he has no excuse for not putting a sentence together. And not only that, but he has obviously, according to what I've seen and the conclusion I personally myself have drawn, he has driven women to go get abortions and then later turned around and said, I am going to outlaw abortions altogether. Well, I say put, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Walk the walk walker and volunteer to go to jail because that is what your constituents want. They see it as murder. You then, by their definition, are a murderer. You should be at the mercy of the people in your state, according to what your plan is for the future of America. And you should go to jail and potentially be put to death because you have committed murder multiple times. By your people's definition, Herschel Walker, you're a serial killer. Yep. Well, by his people's definition and also by the definition that he at least wants his base to believe that he holds. Remember, he doesn't believe that there should be any exceptions. 
Now, I know that like people are throwing that around against literally every candidate. And I get it, some of the candidates who say they support exceptions would vote in favor of bills that didn't have exceptions. But he doesn't support any exceptions, like that is what he says. Um, and there's so there's no exception for incest, no exception for rape. Obviously, no exception for, eh, I'm a football player, I don't really feel like it. I think that that probably wouldn't be one of the exceptions as well. And this isn't like you're judging him based on what he says, what his side says. We don't believe that he necessarily did anything wrong. I mean, maybe ethically, based on what she's saying, it appears to have gone just beyond him expressing an interest in not having a child. He seems to have been very much pressuring her. That maybe goes beyond what most people would be comfortable with. Um, but if he was just honest about all of this and would give leeway to other people that he gave to himself, then we wouldn't have any problem with this. This wouldn't be a scandal for him and we could instead focus on the 100 other things that make him wholly unqualified for this position. But this is the life that he says, like there's the life he says you should lead and then there's the life that he has actually led and he can talk about being bathed in the blood of Jesus Christ. I feel like it's not up to you at the end of the day whether you've redeemed yourself. I don't think that's how Christianity is supposed to work. That you just say you're good now. It's so bad. I mean, then the golden rule to make it particularly Jesus-y is treat others the way you would want to be treated. Mm -hmm. Come to our side, we do that. We got cookies. Like <laughs> you come over, you get to be just a garden variety crappy dude where you knock a girl up, you say you love her, you say, I think for both of us, I think I'll stay with you, but we got to get an abortion. Then you pay for her abortion and then you leave her. You get to be precisely that horrible. Under the law, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Because we know that it's not just a standard for me and a different standard for everyone else. Worse, what Herschel Walker's doing is decidedly elitist and anti populist. He has put himself, because he can run good and is pals with Donald Trump, now he is in the inner circle of people who are allowed to do it. Mm -hmm. And what's frustrating is that, but not only that, but the people who are willing to give him a pass so that they can make other people responsible for taking the same actions that their leader that they want to vote for has taken. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and and along the way, you're totally right at being so about being so elitist. I also we can't say to what extent it's honestly elitist or he's completely lying about this just because he wants to be in the inner circle. I don't to me it doesn't really matter which it is. I, I would think that if you were a devoted Christian, you'd care about the difference between those two things. I have no idea if he actually thinks that abortion is wrong now. Maybe he changed his mind after the multiple abortions he pressured women to have. I don't know, maybe he was hit in the head enough times that eventually he's he, the, the switch flipped for that. I don't know. Um, but I do know he's a massive hypocrite, even if it turned out somehow that this woman uh, was lying and I'm going to guess that Gloria Allred probably looked into it a little bit. They have bits of evidence, by the way. You can see, we're not gonna show you the videos for literally everything, but they have voicemails um, supposedly from Herschel Walker. You can see a shot of Gloria Allred uh, playing that, and it certainly sounds like him. They have uh, a photo of Herschel Walker in a bed in Jane Doe's hotel room, which Again, by itself doesn't necessarily prove that he pressured her to have an abortion. This could have been taken from any number of different women he probably doesn't remember. But they do appear to, as with the first woman, have some documentation. That said, why don't we turn now to the response, only seems fair. So we're gonna jump ahead actually to video four. Whenever you're ready, let's go to that. I'm gonna just say right now, you know, guys, I'm done with this foolishness. I've already told people this is a lie, and I'm not gonna entertain the continuing to carry a lie alone. And I also wanted to let you know I didn't kill JFK either. And right now they sent him one out and he got crushed at that debate. And now the Democrats are doing say whatever they can to win this fight, win this seat. But I want them to know they don't know Herschel Walker. They don't know that uh, I'm from right here, Georgia, and I'm gonna win this seat. Right there, Herschel Walker has the confidence of a man who doesn't necessarily know much, but he knows who he's trying to appeal to. And he knows how little they actually care about the things they purport to care the most about. Uh, this is now two women that say that he pressured them to have an abortion, which in their eyes is murder. Uh, they didn't care about the first, they didn't care about the documentation, the check and the letter and all of that. The fact that this Jane Doe is anonymous 
Uh, makes it very easy for them to brush away the entire thing. But I got news for you, I'll spoil the second season. Were she to reveal herself and were she to have a video that she shot on mini DV of the, their whole trip to the abortion clinic. If he were to have sat in the viewing gallery for it, they wouldn't care. They wouldn't care. That's why he didn't have to really defend himself. He called it foolishness, I think he said. He didn't even pronounce the word right. He brushed it aside, it's condescending. He's gonna win, he's Herschel Walker, that's it. Why would you say more when no one who's gonna be voting for you demands it? It's so ridiculous. Speaking of the viewing out, like, where are they doing that statement? Where were they shooting that? You know what they do? This is this is even bigger of an insult than him going up there and saying, like, they're not gonna send me to jail for being a murderer. Mm-hmm. He's also doing it in front of a free rate. Where are you? You're doing it intentionally so you have background noise so that people won't be able to use that video. Where even are you? Herschel Walker for Senate is at the bottom of an embankment. Mm-hmm. It's so ridiculous. And at the on the other end of it, you have a reverend, a well-respected guy who already is doing the job great, Raphael Warnock. And on the other end of it, you've got Herschel Walker who's sitting there like trying to run faster than the allegations can mount. Yep. And I hope to God that he he cannot run faster than them. Yeah. Yeah. And and maybe wait out like will more stuff come out? We've got what 2 weeks at this point. Is there potentially time maybe in the same way that his condescending dismissal of the first allegations led to the second woman coming out? I don't know, maybe there's a third woman and a fourth woman that are watching him Near that embankment, looking like his car flew off the road, and they decided, "Yeah, we'll use this." Maybe, maybe they're maybe they're paying attention. I don't know, but what I do know is that it won't really matter. I I, I say too often, I, I oversimplify things and say that it doesn't matter to literally anyone. The polling that came out in the wake of the allegations, it does seem to have hurt him by like literally one and a half points, maybe. Um, but I do have to imagine that whatever whatever influence. Him being shown to be an utter absolute hypocrite on the topic that is most important to these people, it's gonna be mostly encapsulated in the first one. A second one or a third one, or I don't know, maybe he's a Trump or a Bill Cosby and there's 40 hanging out there. I don't think that each one is gonna give you a point. We are just at a point in American politics where just nobody cares. Like, like think about the, the, the conservatives that are looking at this. Maybe they even think. Yeah, he is hypocritical on this. But they also think that Raphael Warnock is a tool of Satan. I mean, yes, they've been told that directly. Marjorie Green says it frequently. So why would they support him? They've been convinced that the Democrats are literal Satanists. So Raphael Warnock is an obvious hypocritical failed Christian. But that probably seems better than the Satanist, I guess. I don't think any additional people care. That's how I would qualify it. Like depressing. This is Georgia. This is Georgia where it took uh, Donald Trump being the worst president in many, many years. Like the the baseline for a Georgia Senate race should be like Mm 60-40. And the fact that the Democrat is slightly ahead of a Republican means that a lot of people who do care have done one of two things. A said, I'm gonna be with the man of God, in my opinion. The rough, the guy with the reverend in front of his name, even if he's got a D. And I, this is Georgia. I voted for Democrats as recently as 2001, mm-hmm. to you know, before the realignment ended, um, and finally went to the Republican way. Um, I think that's the main one. Or they've said, I'm just going to stay home. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting this one out. Maybe. And the Alabamians did it with with um, with Roy Moore. They're just like, I'm going to sit out. This guy's too much. But the, I would just say the marginal effect of this kind of thing when it's been proven that he is just not worthy of being a senator mm-hmm. is not as huge, especially with the second one over the first one. And yeah. the one point is a big thing because Could already be. Republican voters are used to looking at hypocritical leaders and saying, eh, at least I know, and this is an art that the, the Democrats need to learn, is that even if you're a hypocrite on something, you're at least gonna deliver them the thing that they want from a policy perspective, which in this case is making abortion illegal. Sure, yeah, de facto illegal for people who aren't as rich as Herschel Walker. I least. forget who said it, they were like, I don't care what he said, I want the Senate. 
I don't know if that's Dana Loesch. Dana Loesch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She really doesn't care, um, which is definitely how religious values should work. Uh-huh. You should be able to just dispense them like for short term political gain. Jesus. For power gain. Jesus died for their sins. Mm-hmm. It is a martyrdom in the service of a larger agenda religion. Mm-hmm. So what's two Herschel Walker babies to them? I guess that's true. Uh, really fast, we move on to the last video because we got to show you this. Um, imagine if the Republican Party of Georgia had just gone to a relatively big tire store and chosen the guy who owns it and ran him. They'd be up by like eight points right now. <laughs> they chose the most scandal ridden person in the entire state. And it's still like that close. They could have chosen any dumb regular Republican and walked away with this thing. What a bunch of morons. Um, Let's focus briefly on one moron though, Lindsey Graham. So I've seen this movie. I live 40 miles right over those uh, hills there. I know Rabin County and I know Dillard really well. People here are not going to tolerate it. No. There's going to be a backlash in Georgia. Yes, sir. This is coming from LA. It's coming from an activist, democratic celebrity lawyer who went to the 2016 convention for Hillary Clinton. And people in Georgia are not this dumb. Oh, just to clarify though, Gloria Allred wasn't pressured into having the abortion by Herschel Walker. It was the woman who very much did live there. But they don't care. They don't care. I, the fact he's saying like there's gonna, they're not going to stand for it. There's going to be a backlash. There should be for the religious hypocrisy. There really should be, and they still are talking about this is coming from LA, this is coming from Hollywood. Put up your reality reality star president again, honestly. They still love to pretend that they're not interested. Herschel Walker was chosen because he's a celebrity. I get that he doesn't live in LA, but you just chose the biggest celebrity that you could, a guy that you watched on TV for years and years. The Republicans just choose stars. And for Lindsey Graham to say, "Oh, this came from LA, they thought, listen, Dr. Oz came from New Jersey. <laughs> so you are importing people out of nowhere. You've got people because they're supposed to be celebrities. Now they've learned they just need TV stars and not NFL or whatever, you know, stars from the University of Georgia or wherever yeah. he went. Yeah, and look, that's a great point. Look, they know Dr. Oz from TV and Donald Trump from TV and Herschel Walker from TV. Tudor Dixon was a host on right wing media. Carrie Lake. They're all to carry. I don't actually don't know where Carrie TV Lake is. TV host. From, from TV, TV news host. It's all from TV. That's all it is. And why wouldn't it be? They don't need Sarah Palin. That's a great point. Well, they, they don't need to know anything. They don't have to have experience. Experience, honestly, would be kind of an obstacle. Just believe whatever it is that we tell you right now you should believe. Uh, be on the watch because it might change soon. But just believe whatever that is. Vote on the two or three things we actually care about. That's it. Also, for <laughs> they, they don't, we, we're not as dumb as they think we are. It's like, listen, you're trying to convince them that you're tough, Lindsey Graham. If they're gonna believe that, they're gonna believe anything. Yeah. You're being lied to by a guy who can't lie like convincingly, who can't put sentences together. I'm not saying the people of Georgia dumb. I'm saying that Herschel Walker thinks that they are. That's why he's not even bothering to really try to defend himself against these allegations.